Mr. Griggs, what's happened? I'm Senior Constable Stewart. This is Constable Parrish. We have... Kayla! What's going on? Where, where are your clothes? That is what we would like to find out. So how old is your daughter? She's 14. Could you bring her down to the station in the morning? Yeah. I snuck out to meet a few mates and have fun. Big deal. A group of teenage girls dancing around a bonfire practically naked in the middle of the night. You didn't tell me about that. What would you care? I'm your father, I care. <laughs> yeah? Carly, you could be facing charges here. We need to know what you and your friends were doing. Having a late night barbie? Nothing illegal? I don't think so. Prove it. Well, who were the others who were with you? You want to know, you find out. Who was the man? What man? The gutless one that ran off when we arrived. There was a man there. Yeah, Mr. Griggs, I can't There wasn't any man. Look, I saw him, I chased him, Kayla. Come on. We both saw him, Kayla. Yeah? Well, who was he then? <laughs> or didn't you catch him? Mr. Griggs, do you have any idea who these other girls might be? It's really important that we talk to them. She doesn't bring friends home, you know. We try to encourage her, but... Does Carla have a boyfriend? Oh, uh, yeah, she's seen someone. Not that I'd know anything about that. What's he like? I've never met him. I know he's older than her, that's for sure. How do you know that if you've never met him? He drives a car without pee plates, doesn't he? He dropped her off at home the other night. What sort of car does he drive? Don't know the make. It's quite big. Could be white. Are you concerned about the age gap between them? The more I tell her not to do something, the more determined it makes her. What, what do I do? We will be investigating this further, Kayla. It's not safe for you to be out in the bush at night, especially when your parents don't know where you are. What? Some bunyip's gonna get me? Kayla. Look, I know they don't make it easy, but uh, try and keep an eye on her. Full moon, semi-naked girls. It's witchcraft stuff, all right. Beware, we'll probably find a black cockerel nailed to the station door tomorrow. <laughs> it's just a fad. TV's full of it. Gone are the days of Cindy and Bobby on the seesaw. It's all about vanquishing demons now. So we have to check for love potions in our tea then, or what? Yeah, you wish. This is not some kid's game. The bloke that we saw out there had a dagger. It could have been a ceremonial one. It's still bloody dangerous, Joe. Kayla's not cut anywhere. Incidentally, her mystery boyfriend is older and he drives a large white car. I like the one you saw. It's got to be a possibility. So let's try and find this bloke. I don't like the idea of him and underage girls mucking around with witchcraft. Well, Ben doesn't mind mucking about with witches. Oh, is there something you've neglected to tell me about yourself? There is a woman in Mount Thomas who practices witchcraft. Her name is Siobhan Kennedy. She's got the hots for Ben. Then maybe you should go and have a word with her. Yeah, sure, all right. Give her my regard. Will do. Senior Constable. I was wondering if I could uh, talk to you for a couple of minutes. Well, you were going to call me so we could talk at length over dinner, I recall. Or did you get a better offer? I got uh, busy at work. The time gets away from me. As time does. Sorry. Uh, we found a group of girls last night dancing around a bonfire. On their own? No, there was a guy with them. He was older. I didn't get to see him clearly, but he was wearing a sun mask and a well, codpiece and not much else. And he also had a dagger. There was a full moon last night, so if it was a coven meeting, they're bound to have left some traces. Do you want me to come with you and take the site? Well, I went back there this morning and it's 
clean as a whistle. The whole site, even where the bonfire was, has been cleaned up. Somebody's covering their tracks? Our friend in the jockstrap, I'd imagine. Yeah, well, he's what worries me. The girls on their own are unlikely to get into any real strife, too young. Do you have any idea what he might have been doing with them? Could be anything from spell casting to sex magic. Kayla Griggs is 14. I doubt if the others are any older. Is that what you think he's doing? It's a possibility. Do you have any idea who this guy might be? I can ask around. Any leads will be handled discreetly. I know. Otherwise, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Look, I'd like to help. This kind of thing gives the rest of us a bad name. Thank you. Well, I should be heading back. Otherwise, they'll be sending out a search party. Well, I could cast a quick invisibility spell. I think my sergeant would see straight through that. Will you ask around? Sure. Will you have dinner with me tonight? You heard anything? No. no. Are girls you know of? You sure? All right, well, um, think of anything, uh, let us know, eh? Hey? Thanks for your Thanks. time. Yeah, yeah. Back to school, eh? Well, what a waste of time. Well, the vice principal did warn us we wouldn't get anywhere. And you agree with her? Look, kids get up to all sorts of stuff. I was sneaking out at night to go skinny to be at Gail's age. Yeah, but you weren't dancing around a bonfire singing oogly boogly with some bloke <laughs> twice your age. Probably only because I didn't think of it. <laughs> well, Maddie's going to be 15 soon, isn't she? It's got nothing to do with it, Joe. Yeah. Probably aren't any witches in Perth anyway. Enough to go skinny, didn't you know? Oh, thanks for that. Joe, white station wagon. Well, it's probably a teacher. He's the right age. The, the other two wagons got us nowhere this morning. Give the guy a break. I'll talk to every station wagon driver in Mount Thomas if yeah, I have to. Any, Come on. It could be anyone. You, uh... Afternoon, sir. Constable. You mind telling us what you're doing here? Well, as you can see, uh, collecting books. And you are? A humble bookseller, Constable. You're from the second-hand bookshop? Oh, Winter's Tales, yes. Oh, I prefer uh, pre-loved or antiquarian. Simon Winter. I wouldn't have thought there'd be much call for antiquarian books at a modern high school. True. I donated a pile of books for the school fate. These are the ones that didn't sell. It's very generous of you. Hi, Hi. I buy books by the kilo. I donated the ones that don't interest me much. Romantic fiction, mainly. So what kind of books do interest you? Oh, out-of-the-way sort of books. Rare books, first editions, that sort of thing. I see. Now, um, I've got a bookshop to run, as you know, so if you don't mind. Do we have reason <laughs> to suspect? I mean, what's his name? Simon Winter. He's the right age with the guy that I saw, and he drives a light-coloured station wagon. Well, heaps of guys drive light-coloured cars, Ben. What do you want to do, interview all of them? That's not much to go on. So there's nothing about him on leap. There's still something about this guy that just ticks me off. He's too smug, too sure of himself. He's too good looking, that's all. Hey, how are we cooking tonight? Pizza? Chinese. Uh, I'll be eating out tonight. Sorry? What do you think of him? Well, I don't know him very well, but he seems okay. Is he interested in the occult? He carries an occult and esoteric list, so I would imagine so. Is there any chance that he's the man I'm looking for? Unlikely. I've got him tabbed as an armchair magic and not a practitioner. He enjoys the thrill of reading about it, but he would never buy an astral plane ticket. Orange and pumpkin soup. Enjoy. So, Senior Constable. Why didn't you ring me 12 months ago? Well, I don't know. I guess I just got busy with stuff. Try me. Relationship stuff. Family stuff. Boring to anyone else. as far away as you could hope to get, and I just had to get on with things. As
I didn't think there was anyone else in the house. She's meant to be staying with a friend. I thought she was supposed to be in Melbourne. Her father's been posted overseas, so it was either me or boarding school. <sighs> I think I'd better leave. No, no stay. But your daughter has no, just... We both agreed we're entitled to a life. You sure? Yes. Ben's running a bit late. Yeah, sleeping in a strange bed will do that to you. But you reckon he got lucky? Well, let's just say, <coughs> he didn't make it home for breakfast. What did witches put out on first dates? Joey. <laughs> Good night, was it? It was very pleasant, thanks. So what do witches eat for breakfast? Toad in the hole with real toads? Newts on toast? Innocent young policeman? Thanks for keeping your mouth shut, detective. Good morning. Uh, Sergeant, I'll take care of this one. Thanks. Mr. Griggs. Kayla. Uh, this is my wife, Helen. Hello. Hello. My daughter, Louise, wasn't in her room this morning. Her bed hasn't been slept in. So she wasn't there last night? No, no, she went to bed, but now she's not there. She's missing. So she's been missing for 10 or 12 hours now? She's only 13, for Christ's sake. Could she have been abducted in Mount Thomas? Get real. Anyway, who would want to abduct her? Are there any signs of a struggle? Not that we can see. It doesn't sound like abduction, but we'll check it out. Kayla, can you think of where she might have gone? Why ask me? Well, your sister, she might have said something. No. They don't seem too worried. Big deal. So, let's take a look at our room, then. No sign of forced entry? No. Did she pack a bag? No. The only clothes missing was what she had on. Jeans and a T-shirt. And there's no note. Did she get a photograph? Oh, yeah. Pretty kid. How old is she? Thirteen. Right, we'll get some copies made of that. It is still possible she just snuck out. Skinny living with friends, maybe? Well, let's just hope she hasn't taken up with that sister of hers and her mates. Boss, I'm sorry. We just had a call from the Ambo service. They pick up a teenage girl in the middle of nowhere and she's in a pretty bad way. Griggs. Straight through. Sorry, you'll have to wait. What have they done to her? How is she? Uh, hypothermic, deep shock. She's in the coma. She was found out near the coven site with her hands tied behind her back and this black hood over her head. It's lucky they found her when they did. Any signs of sexual assault? I don't know yet. I've notified Tactical Response Unit and Crime Scene. They'll meet PJ out there. Dr. Mel, let me take these before she was cleaned up. Bizarre. Anybody got any idea what these drawings mean? It looks like the astrological symbol for Saturn, inverted and reversed. And what would that do? Absolutely nothing. Unless you believed it was going to close down your chakras. Chakras being The body's what? energy centre. That's where the symbols were placed. Probably one at the top of her head and the base of her spine as well. So we are talking black magic? Negative magic, certainly. Technically, it'd be a spell or a binding or some kind of initiation, perhaps. Well, surely no one believes this stuff. Well, you've heard about singing the bones in Cori magic. Same principle. Mm -hmm. If you believe it, it can happen. Poor darling. Sounds like she's been scared out of her wits. How do these parents let their kids get so out of control? That's what I don't get. Keeping your kids under control is a lot easier said than done. Take it from me. Mm. It's OK. Tonight? If it's all right with your daughter. Well, I'd like you to meet her under less awkward circumstances. Are you sure? She's a teenager. She's all right. Look, if you want to make a good impression, turn up with pizza. 
She loves her wine. What about you? Mm, surprise me. Something spicy. Mm. Now there's a woman who knows what she wants. Things seem to be going well for you and Siobhan. It's good. Thank you. Besides, you're a lot less grumpy today. Late nights obviously agree with you. Should have come round by now. What did the doctor say? Just that this sometimes happens after trauma, you know. There's no physical cause. She wasn't raped, thank God. Did you find out any more about those markings on her body? We're still investigating. Don't fob me off. The little girl's found unconscious voodoo markings all over her. I just want to know what's going on, you know? Does Louise share Kayla's interest in the occult? You're telling me it's Louise's fault? You didn't even know Kayla had it. Oh, if Kayla's dragged Louise into this, I... Uh, Does Kayla have anything that Louise might have got hold of? Videos, photos, books? I don't know, you know, I'm her father. I'm the last to know anything about that sort of stuff. Do you mind if we have a look through her room? Sure. Thanks for that. Yes, I sold that. To Kayla Griggs? Possibly. We found it in her room. Well, she has an interest in the subject. You know that she's 14. Well, it's not prohibited for sale to minors. Perhaps it should be. Why? You'd have a difficulty proving a tendency to deprave and corrupt. You have an interest in fantasy fiction, I see. Oh, we don't all read detective novels. Oh, feel free to borrow anything that takes your fancy. You know this girl? Is she one of your customers? It could be. I get a lot of people through here. It's uh, quite a successful business, you know. She's in hospital. Oh, no, poor girl. Nothing serious, I hope. She was found near where you and your very young female friends were having a coven meeting two nights ago. I don't recall attending a coven meeting, but if you say I was there, maybe I was, and it's just slipped my mind. Look, were you there or not? I couldn't be certain, unlike your friend seems to be. How old are you? 35? I don't think that any of these girls would be over the age of consent. I'm their teacher. We meet in a room in a building. It's a perfectly proper association. I don't think their parents would see it as proper. Young girls have a fascination with magic. It's better they learn from me than dabble and get into real trouble. And what exactly, Mr Winter, do they learn? You couldn't begin to understand. Try me. I'm sorry, we've taken an oath not to reveal the mystery to the mundane. Unprepared or closed minds are likely to find the knowledge dangerous. Is that a threat? Not at all, but you should be careful. You have no idea the forces you're dealing with. I'll take my chances. We paid a visit to Simon Winter's bookshop earlier today. So? We understand he's been teaching you and your friends. <laughs> it's a free country. What's he teach? Sorry, we take an oath not to reveal the mystery to the mundane. Kayla, if there's nothing illegal or wrong happening, why can't you talk to us about it? Because you wouldn't understand. We're concerned because you're all so young. He doesn't treat us like babies, not like some people. So how does he treat you? Like grown women. You've got a dirty mind, you know that? People like Simon are always being hassled by people like you. There must be something you can share with outsiders to help us understand he's doing nothing wrong. He's helping us develop our powers. What sort of powers? Like if people dump crap on you, how to send it straight back. Mr Griggs? How's Louise? No change. She's just lying there, doesn't move, doesn't speak. Look, I'm really sorry about before. I just feel so bloody helpless, you it's know. Okay. I... Look, we did find some witchcraft books under Kayla's bed. Oh, that'd be right. Is there any chance that Louise could have found them? Uh, Kayla wouldn't let anyone into her room. Well, could Louise have threatened Kayla in some way? Well, Louise has tried really hard to get along with Kayla, you know. Well, could Kayla feel threatened by her? She's pretty messed up, but I, I can't believe she'd do something like this to her own sister. Do you know Simon Winter? The bookshop guy. Do you think he's got something to do with it? Do you think it's possible he could be Kayla's boyfriend? He's old enough to be a father. If he <laughs> is, I'll <laughs> deal with it. Louise, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Huh? I really am. Oh, it's all right, love. We'll soon get this sorted. I want to go home. Yes, I know that, Jessie, but we do need to talk to you just for a bit. I already okay. told you I don't know anything. Yeah, Joe. No, PJ's. Yeah. I just want to head through to the left there. See you now. Mm-hmm. 
It would be better for Joe and I to handle this. Sergeant, this is my she case. She might be more likely to open up to us. Hmm? Look, she's a friend. Of course I'd be upset seeing her like that. You were saying you were sorry. What have you got to be sorry about, Jazzy? It's just what you say, you know. Yeah, we believe there's more to it than that. Jazzy, if there's anything that Have you, you and Louise been hanging out with Kayla and the other girls? Come on, it's easy to be influenced by your mates and get all mixed up in a cult. I'm not. But you know Simon Winter. I've just been to the shop. That's all. He has a bookshop. Is Louise and this group of girls he's been teaching? Are you? Oh, of course she's not. She's got more sense Jazzy. than me. Mum's right. I'm not. I just hang around the shop sometimes. If what you're teaching these girls is so innocent, why can't you tell us about it? I don't have to explain myself to you or anyone. Might help your case. Case? What case? If you had a case, you would have charged me by now. If Louise Griggs ever regains I'm consciousness... I'm sure she'll back up my story. Because you've half frightened her to death. Prove it, or let me go. Helen was cleaning Louise's room this morning and she found this. It's got Kayla's name in it. She's always nicking my stuff. It's not my fault. Hello, Kayla. Hey. Are they giving you a hard time? Yeah, a bit. Is this the bastard who's been messing with my girls? Just remember what I taught you. If you touch either of my girls, Joe I'll kill you, you bastard. Mr. Griggs. I'm sorry You're we'll so distressed, it. Mr. Griggs. Kayla's told me you're having difficulties. If you ever want to drop into the shop and talk about it, that's fine. You're letting him go. I haven't done anything wrong, Mr. Griggs. He's responsible for Louise being in hospital right now. I may have sold her a book or two, and as far as I know, that is not an illegal activity. Unless the thought police decide it is, then get back to me. We will be getting back to you, Mr. Winter. Believe me, we will. That sounds like a threat, Constable. No, nah, it's not a threat. It's a promise. Why don't you tell this man what perverted muck you've been teaching his daughter and why his other daughter is still in a coma? You Put bastard! Out, Constable, or I will sue you for Right, slaying. that's yeah, enough, thanks, senior. You're going to be behind bars where you're going to be for a long time and prisoners are not kind of child molesters. You're all right, I'm Ben. I'm not a child and you can't talk to him. Leave like now, Mr. Winter. Don't worry, Kayla. He's the one who'll be going away. Achilles, et Kela, est Kensus, Averna. A wanker. Say that in Latin. You are gone. Oh, I'll take my chances. <laughs> he's hexed you and he knows what he's doing. Don't talk rubbish, Kayla. You'll see. You should have left him alone. Kayla, the man is a fraud who preys on impressionable girls. I've been threatened by experts. He scares me not. <laughs> well, he should. He's got the power. I've seen it. Forget about it. I want to know about this book. Nothing to tell. How did it get into your sister's she room? She must have broken into my room and taken it. And is that why Louise was attacked? Did you attack her? Getting back at her for something like Simon taught you? Well, I told you Simon had power. Are you saying that Simon has done this to Louise? Simon doesn't like people who get in his way, even policemen. Your sister is in a coma. Would you please help us out here? This bastard's got such a hold over Kayla. Maybe he does have powers. You know, look at Louise's condition. That hasn't changed. Shane, you don't believe in all that crap, do you? I don't know anymore. You know, can't we force him to take his spell off or whatever it is, or offer him money? What we can't do is let him think that we believe in it. Well, we've got to do something. Uh, Helen and I are going out of our minds with worry. You know, we're not churchgoers, but, but maybe a priest isn't such a bad idea, you know? Listen, I think I know somebody who might be able to help. Shane's waiting outside with Carla, just keeping an eye on her. Good. Are you ready? We need to persuade her that it's safe to come back to her body. Just tell me what you want me to do. Okay, we'll stand down the end of the bed. And take hold of both her feet firmly in your hands. What will that do? Just remind her of the rest of her body. Let the mind be healed. Let the heart be healed. Let the body be healed and know itself safe and whole again. 
the mind be whole. Let the spirit be whole. Let the body be whole. And that whole be at peace. So be it. So be it. So be it. She's going to be all right. With the sister? Yeah, okay. Oh, she's involved in all this coven business with Simon Winter. God, that bastard. Mm -hmm. These girls are just babies. Oh, he even threw a curse at me. Really? Mm -hmm. well, maybe you should consider lying low for a while. What would you suggest? I can think of a place. Peaches at seven. Jazzy will be there. I have Newton all things worse. Avert the evil warlock's curse. Enough out of you. I mean, the guy's an idiot. I didn't even understand what he said. It's from Virgil. Hey? Ah, hey? oh, the brothers beat some Latin into me before I leg this. One of their favourite quotes. Easy and swift is the descent into hell. So, Josie, there must be some things you like about Mount Thomas. Yeah, she loves trail bike riding. Oh, yeah, I did a bit of that when I was a kid. Have you got your own bike? Yeah, Dad bought me one for my birthday. Oh, she's always taking it apart and putting it back together and leaving it in pieces all over the backyard. Mom. So, what else do you like to do? There's nothing else to do around here. I guess I can read a bit when there's nothing on telly. My daughter, Maddie, insisted that I read all of the Harry Potter books. Mm. Yeah, Hogwarts would be better than Mount Thomas High. At least they let you study spells and potions and stuff. Yeah, we have talked about this before. Magic is a serious business. You won't even talk to me about it. When you're older. 16, 20, 50, how old were you? If you won't teach me, I'll go to someone who will. Oh, Jazzy wants to follow in her mother's footsteps. She's too young. Then maybe you can tell her when she could start. Are you telling me how to bring up my daughter? Not at all. It's just that sometimes it's easier to see what's going on from the outside. It's just that her father thought he knew the best way to bring her up, and that was to keep her away from me. Siobhan, I'm not suggesting that you're not doing it. And now I am living with her for the first time in years, and I don't know who she is, and she doesn't know who I am. Oh, that is hard. Damn right it's hard. But it's going to be all right. Don't you? Patronise me, Ben. It is not all right. Okay, no, no, no. It's not all right. Yeah. Oh. But it'll be okay. <sighs> Benny boy, mm -hmm. your brake line had been disconnected at the wheel soon. And you, you lost all your brake fluid. Been doing your own maintenance again. Look, I know I drive a heap, but mechanically, it's A1. I checked the brakes at the last service. There was plenty of fluid. The brakes were fine. Sabotage. Got to be. OK, so where was your car parked last night? Bly Street, actually, outside Chaborn's house. Right. So we should organise a door knock. Yeah. Definitely. Ben, you too. We should be talking to... Good for your stress levels. Lucky you've done your defensive driving course, Ben. Well, it certainly was a swift descent into hell. If this is Winter's curse at work, it's had its fair share of human intervention. A curse makes use of available opportunity. I'm satisfied that mine has been effective. So where were you during the magical hours of darkness? That was a quaint phrase. In fact, I was working on my bass statement. I fell asleep at my computer. Well, can you prove that? Well, I handed it in first thing in the morning. Oh, this is a very serious matter, Mr. Winter. Somebody tried to tamper with Senior Constable Stewart's brakes. You see, he could have died. That's a murder charge. Well, we should all be very grateful that Senior Constable Stewart was unharmed. Attempted murder is still a hefty charge, and we don't take too kindly to individuals who try and knock off one of our own. This is unbelievable. We've got a girl in a coma, a young Benny, and he nearly gets killed. Look, unless you got good news, go away. How about a witness who saw a car just like the one Winter drives parked outside Siobhan's place at about 3 a.m.? You beauty. Continue. Yeah, insomniac. Doesn't like living next door to that witch, so he's been taking notes ever since. 
Yeah, your car gets mentioned a couple of times, actually. All right, let's nail him. Care to accompany me, senior? You betcha. We'd like you to explain why your car was at the front of Bly Street at about 3 o'clock this morning. Where's Bly Street? Where my car was parked last night, where you tampered with its brake lines. <laughs> Look, I drive a very common model of car. Has anybody given you my registration number or positively identified you me as you the, the driver? driver? I'm saying I wasn't there. We've got a description of a tall man of medium build wearing dark clothing seen in the street. Well, it's very general, isn't it? Must be very difficult to be accurate in the dark, so if that's all you've got. Well, we might not have an accurate description of you down to the strawberry-coloured birthmark on your slimy derriere, but we can get a warrant to search your house and car. No, you can't do that. Why not? What are you afraid that we'll find? It's an invasion of privacy and you've got Attempted no right. Attempted murder. I thought I already told you that. You should listen more closely. Look, I've already told you I was at home with no alibi. In fact, there was someone there Who? with me. Kayla Griggs. And she was there all night. You know the girl is 14. Of course. Mate, if you have been involved with a 14-year-old girl... I'm expanding girl... the workings of your grubby mind, detective. She'd had a fight with her parents and I let her sleep on the couch. Kayla confirms Winter's story. Though I reckon she'd swear black was white if he told her to. I don't think either of them are going to be very easy to break down. The only time he seemed really rattled is when we threatened to search his house. He is hiding something. Hey, that warrant is being faxed over as soon as it's been approved. No, let him sweat. Jones can take care of him until the warrant arrives. As soon as it gets here, we're going to go over to his shop. But we do need to look at other possibilities. You heard the guy, boss. He made a direct threat about sending me to hell. Yeah, but how would Winter know where your car was going to be parked last night if you weren't at home? Is there anybody else you've annoyed lately? I don't see how we can look past Winter. I mean, I did the same thing to his brakes given after. Not chance. a very helpful approach. No, but still. What about Siobhan's daughter? She wasn't very keen on you when she was in here yesterday. Jazzy, come on. She's just a kid. It's got to be Winter. She wants to keep her mother to herself. I mean, it's natural enough. Teenage jealousy can be a big, ugly monster. Jealousy, schmelousy. You need some mechanical knowledge to tamper with brakes. Would she know something like that? Would she? Oh, she might, yeah, but it's just so unlikely. Right, we should follow it up. And I don't think it's any more likely than you do, Ben, but we need to talk to her. PJ? What do you want to talk to Jessie about this time? Uh, we just want to eliminate her from our inquiries. Jessie, do you ride a trail bike? Yes. If something goes wrong with the bike, you know what to do? Fix it, if I can. You know how to fix it? Yeah, so. We see someone tamper with the brakes on Senior Constable Stewart's car. Do you really think I'd do that to your no, brakes? No, just that it might have been a spur of the moment I didn't thing. do it. I will not have my daughter bullied into admitting to something it, she didn't do. It wasn't me, Mum. I'm sorry, Jazzy. I didn't think that it was you, but we just had to check. I hate you. You can't tell me off. You're not my dad. I don't go around doing stuff like Simon and Kayla. Have you been with Winter and the others? Jazzy, why didn't you come to me? I tried to, but you were in bed with him. Jazzy, do you know what happened to Louise? I can't say they'll know they I told. Won't know. I, I wasn't there. It's okay, honey. They're so scary. Mom. Look, look, we've had enough. I think we need to go home. That's fine, but we're going to need to get as much information as we can about so I'm sorry to interrupt. PJ and Ben, you needed at the hospital. Uh, this is Ben and PJ. Louise, it's good to see you feeling a bit better. Louise is still a bit shaky. I thought I was going to die. It's okay, darling. Do you want to talk about it? Nothing. So this can wait. Mr. Griggs, we, um, we're going to need to talk to Louise, so it might be easier if you went outside. Hey, you'll be okay, sweetheart. All right. Just out here for a minute. Louise, we will catch the people who did this to you. And they won't be able to hurt you or anyone else anymore. Whatever you can tell us will help us do that. She's making it up. 
Why would she do that? Because she's jealous. Why would Simon want a stupid little cow like her? Not when he's got you, you mean. <laughs> I'm his chosen one, not her. He offered to initiate her. Do you know what that means? That's to rubbish. have sex with her? That's rubbish. I I'm the only one. The only one. The only one he has sex with, you mean? I have honoured to. He told me it's called the Great Right. It's an honour. A, a no, holy the problem act. Is, the problem is that you're underage and he knows that. I wanted him just as much as he wanted me. And he doesn't want anyone else, can't you Louise see was that? very clear in her description of his sexual demands, Kayla. No, that's a lie. Ask Simon. He'll we will talk to Simon, but right now we're talking to you. Louise said she was punished, but she refused to have sex that, with no, him. No, so that you is and not Simon right. Didn't punish her. Is that what no. you're saying? I don't know anything about that. Kayla, we've got your voice on tape from when you called the Ambos. Remember when you called the Ambos about your sister? You called the Ambos about Louise. He said that Louise was scared, that she she wanted to leave the group and go and tell her father what was going on, so she had to be taught a lesson. You only lied to him. No, he can't. He's chosen and he chose me. Kayla, you're probably not the only girl he slept with. <laughs> Louise got in trouble because she refused him. He doesn't really care about you, you know that? <laughs> Come on, he Leave me alone. Simon said that Louise was a threat to us all and that she needed to be punished. He, he said that I was the only one he trusted, so I helped him. She That's was the fine. only Do you no, know that? No, no, no. He said that we only had to scare her, that we weren't really going to hurt her. Well, she was hurt. She was badly hurt. <laughs> Looks like he broke all his promises to you. He was the only one who ever made me feel like I was special. Simon. The right tool is always helpful in bringing about a curse, eh? I've never seen that before. Someone must have put it there. Look, if you just tell me what you were looking for... We'll make sure we don't find it. Move. Out of the way, please. This is intolerable. Your behaviour's been intolerable. We haven't even started yet. Bills, bills, bills. What have we got here? Ah. You work with an Italian company, eh? I cross-check this with your records on the computer, eh? Oh, the computer's broken. Sounds perfectly fine to me. Oh, well, um, but it doesn't have any business records on it anyway. I thought you said you were doing your best on the computer. Is this your web provider? Yes, I use that to, um, to sell books to our overseas customers. This will be your website address? Seats on. Just to make sure we don't miss anything. Nice logo. Start praying to those gods of yours, Simon. Winter, and you are gone. Hi. Hi, Ben. 
How are you? Oh, I'm okay. We're okay. There were no photos of Jazzy on that site. It's been shut down. Oh, thank God. Did you sort things out between them? Oh, I, th I think so. I uh, <laughs> took your advice, actually. I, uh, I, I tried to talk to her about my religion. For me, religion and magic are two sides of the same coin. I can't talk about one without the other. Did she understand? Oh, I think so. I hope so. She's a good kid. Oh, she was lucky, that's all. Siobhan, I'm sorry about all that business with Jazzy and my car. I never thought it was her, by the way. Oh, you'll forgive it. spend some time with Jessie, you know. See you around. 